Hello everybody, Lone Fox here, and welcome back to another Destiny video. So, this is another Destiny update video, and uh, I'll probably be doing another ranty type video soon. But today is just a quick update to tell everyone, you know, all those guardians out there that, you know, uh, were expecting some, some free cheese loot. <laughs> um, yeah, you're not going to be getting that from now on from the Crota Raid, uh, because Bungie have now fixed and patched everything in the Crota Raid. Now, when I say everything, I mean absolutely everything. They have patched the Lamp Cannon glitch, they have patched the uh, Presence of Crota glitch, they've patched the Warlock Resurrection um, bridge glitch, they have patched the um, two double sword glitch when you're actually fighting Crota, they've patched everything. They have completely just gone and patched it, uh, which I kind of, I'm kind of glad about, to be quite honest, because... You know, it was it was getting tiring raid uh, raiding, yeah, and then just cheesing the whole raid because it just it kind of made the raid a novelty, to be honest. Just because it it was so st dumb. Um, this raid is so ridiculously easy that it just doesn't need to be cheesed at all. I kind of I kind of wished that that, we'd, that we'd, no one found out any cheeses to begin with, just because it's that easy if you've got a good team. Um, the hardest part of the raid, and when I say hard, I mean most tedious, because the whole raid's pretty easy, is, um, the bridge bit, but, uh, you know, that is just easily deal, it's, you can easily deal with it if you've got a team that's, that's organised, yeah, so, yeah, Bungie have patched the whole raid, which is insane, because they, I think they've done a really good job, it's been about a month since they released the last patch, for for destiny, so you know it was it was it was all in due time. I guess funny because basically everyone that plays Destiny now essentially beta tested the the raid because like now there's no cheeses for us to do on hard. So Bungie is sitting there like, <laughs> yes yes, you uh you just mate, you just fucking back yourself into a corner there, so now we've got to do the hard raid legit, fuck no, it's probably going to be pretty easy still, actually I doubt it will be easy, I reckon it'll be really difficult since there's probably going to be level 33 enemies or something like that, because uh, the enemy will start off as 32, no they'll probably be level 34 or something maybe, I don't really know, but we'll have to see when the raid comes out, Um. so yeah, th that's all the patches that they've done, they've also patched in so um, the Death Singer actually has a drop now, instead of just doing the Death Singer for no reason, you now get a drop from Death Singer, which is quite nice actually, just because um, everyone was moaning about not getting any loot from Death Singer, and now you can get armor, you can get radiant shards, and you can actually get an exotic. There's a chance to get an exotic from the Death Singer, which is pretty beast. I think that's pretty cool now that you can actually get an exotic. I didn't actually get an exotic from Death Singer, but there is definitely a chance. So speaking of exotics as well, uh, the first chest that you get from uh, from the raid that is easily farmable now has no chance to give you an exotic. They, they completely got rid of that exotic chance from that chest and put it into uh, the Death Singer bit instead. So basically, you have uh, the Death Singer and that is technically our exotic chest because the death thing is easy, man. It's really, really easy. Um, but yeah, so we no longer have an exotic chance from the first chest in the abyss. We have it from Death Singer instead, which is kind of cool because it gives Death Singer even more meaning, really. Um, yeah. So uh, there's also not there's not only been updates to. Uh, Dark Below, Crota's End, there's actually been updates to Vault of Glass as well, so, you know, I'll make the Vault of Glass more worthwhile, I guess. So basically, all of the exotics from the chest and from Atheon that you can get, um, have now been buffed to 331 damage, which I think is pretty awesome, so now if you, you know, go into that chest area and get Icebreaker or Galahorn, it'll be a 331 Icebreaker, a or Galahorn, opposed to it just being a normal crappy 300 damage, and you have to wait for Zhur to come. And he might not even sell, you know, an upgraded version of Galahorn or Icebreaker. So, yeah. So, <laughs> that's kind of bad. But at least now you can get uh, from the chest in Vault of Glass, you can get new 331 damage Icebreaker and Galahorn, just any exotic. So yeah, um, that's just. I think that's all of the updates that Bungie have done. I think they've done a really good job in patching all of the cheeses. 
just because the cheeses were getting old and uh, it's time to move on now. It's time to stop being pussies and do the raid legit. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Fox. Have a nice day. Remember to like the video. If you found this video informative, can you uh, drop, drop a comment and uh, like the video as well, please, please. I don't get as many comments as I like to. <laughs> but yeah, remember to subscribe as well for more uh, videos on Destiny and other games. Just remember, I will be doing Destiny videos from now on, but I'll also be doing other videos when I actually get my fucking computer. So until I get my computer, it's going to be mainly Destiny videos, but that doesn't matter. Destiny's great. I love Destiny. Destiny is life, and Destiny is love. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh god, what was that noise? That was awful. Bye!